So many of us are going through so much in this lifetime that it seems so many times like the hand of the individual supervision on our life just took a vacation or just went away to elsewhere dealing with things that are much more important to the Creator. But we must remember this amazing and fantastic way to interpret the verse most of people explain that verse as we're waiting for the salvation that will come from you. We're waiting for you to save us. For the salvation that will come from you. We were waiting all day long. And of course it didn't came. But there is another way to interpret that verse and to say to your salvation. We were waiting all day long. Hashem, He is in our troubles. He is with us in all of our constrictions, in all of our difficulties. He is the, ones, the one that needs to be redeemed. If you think that you need to be redeemed, you don't understand the greatness of the pain and the sorrow and, and the sadness of your loving parent from above, the Creator that mourns, that feels, that suffers with you in all the narrow places that you walk in, in all those valleys of death, between the shadows and the fears, between all the obstacles and the problems that you find in your life, the Creator is there with you and we need to believe and to understand that his heart is so pure and waiting to be redeemed with us. And you know what? He needs us for that redemption. He needs us to come and to rescue him. He needs us to give him a hand for us to rescue him and to give him a lifeline. How? By not giving up. By not giving up and by not backing off. By not surrendering and not falling to despair just by pushing forward and going straight toward our goals and our things that we believe that are important, to be honest, to be kind. Even if all the world is against you, even if you feel all alone and isolated, don't back off because Hashem is with you. Don't give up because the faith is in the nights and the nights are dark and long, but we are together to succeed in it forever, never to give up and not to let no one of us left behind be strong. We're going to make it.